in the past. I don't even know who we're playing anymore. So University of Mary Washington, going to be um, a good opponent tonight. Be ready for them to come at you. They are aggressive. They will score goals at will if you let them. Absolutely. And tonight we have our same starting three as we did last game. That would be Genji, Casey, and Gamehawk. Glitch, who are you looking for in this game? Yeah, I mean, Gamehawk went crazy last last week, but I'm looking at Genji tonight. Genji, you know, he's kind of the sole leader of this team. He is one of the captains, one of the two captains. Got to see him come up big. Last week, he put the ball in dangerous positions and kept it there. So that's pretty key. Watch for him to do that again, and I'm I'm ready to see him ball out, as I am for Casey and Gamehawk. Just uh, checking the chat as things are starting to get ready for the game. We also want to let you know that coming up, the mm. gold team and the blue team are going to Virginia Beach for a big tournament there. Glitch, do you have any info on that one? Yeah, I mean, hey, land tournaments are always so fun to attend. Um, it is this week. We'll be at Virginia Beach. And, hey, the gold team and the blue team are going against each other in game one on the main stage. That's right. You're going to be able to see them. CIU is commanding the main stage at the first match in this LAN. And LAN, hey, L-A-N, uh, it is where you get to test your ability. It doesn't go against your actual record, but it is a great way to see where you're at going into the latter part of your season. And, hey, I mean, land, it's always fun. It's always fun in esports. Oh, yeah. So make sure to check that out as CIU takes on the main stage, complete control on both sides and mm -hmm. does a little takeover. Um, so we look forward to seeing that, and we look forward to just, hey, the results. Who's going to come out on top for the whole thing? Because we feel strongly about both teams and their yeah. chances. Yeah, for sure. I mean, hey, it's a, it is a a win-win. There's going to be a little bit of bragging rights in this one. Which CIU team is going to come on come out on top? Um, but hey, it's CIU's going to win first game, and that's that's really yeah. all that matters. <laughs> that is true. CIU will win the first game, no matter what. So. Speaking of the game, if you are a first-time viewer of the game, this is your first time seeing Rocket League, you're like, what is this? <laughs> uh, let's break it down for you as we wait for the lobby to fill. Rocket League is like soccer with cars. That's the brass tacks of it. And if you get the most points at the end of the five-minute period, you win that game. Uh, we typically play best of five. So first team with three wins overall uh, wins the matchup. Glitch, what are some of the more nitty-gritty details of how this game works? Yeah, down in the, the nitty-gritty, you have boost. That is the main like t uh, strategy of this game. All those little pads that you're going to see on the field, little orange glow glowing pads, those give you boost. Okay, The big orange orbs at the four corners and in the, in the middle of the field give you automatic 100 boost, so full boost. Boost gets you up, over, sometimes through your opponent and to the ball a whole lot quicker than if you were not using it. So you're going to see people using boost to get up, go aerial, fly, go through opponents. We call that a demo. It's, it's a spectacle. And we're up here in this virtual press box, and we get to witness it firsthand, and I'm so excited. It is. Spectacle to behold the skill ceiling is incredibly mm. high for this game. Uh, every time you think that people cannot come up with more ways to use boost and flips and jumps, uh, they surprise you. So it is a technically difficult game to master, and it is also a really fun one to just get started in as well, um, yeah. especially if you like a challenge. And these guys right here, they bring a challenge, and we love to watch them and their expertise in the game. I just wanted to point out that the tournament we were talking about will be available on twitch.tv forward slash VWU 
underscore esports on Twitch. So if you watch um, them on Twitch, you can follow that February 16th through the 18th. And so check that out for sure. Make sure to support your teams. And also, it's not just uh, Rocket League that's doing a land tourney. Overwatch, the Overwatch mm-hmm. team is competing in University of Kentucky's land qualifiers. And if they qualify, they'll have a land tourney in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky that will also be streamed. So make sure you, sh- you show support to the Overwatch team and the other teams that are uh, in the esports program for CIU because they're all excellent. They really are. They have a solid program going on right now. Yeah, um, one of one of the best in the country, if not, you know, I mean, we're all we're biased, you and I, we but are. we we consider this the best esports program in the country for multiple reasons. But um, hey, when you're invited to a land tournament, that's a big deal. Whether it's you know the highest or the lowest, it doesn't matter. When you are invited to compete, that shows that your program is in is headed in the right direction. All right, we are seeing the lobby fill up. So you know what that means. Once everybody's in, there will be a countdown. Five minutes will go on the clock for game one of this series. Oh, and we get an early kickoff win, too, by Casey. Gingy's going to give it. Oh, and it's intercepted. I did not see Electro. (laughs) He came out of nowhere. Yeah, from that camera angle, he literally just appeared. But Gingy has a shot on goal, Ooh. and it goes in instantly. 15 seconds in, Gingy gets the score. And this is this is what I was talking about pregame. It wasn't Gingy this time, but it was Gamehawk. He kept the ball in a dangerous position. We saw Electro come out of nowhere for UMW. He tried to clear it. He couldn't get it clear, and Gamehawk said, I'm going to keep this in a dangerous position and Jinji put it in the back of the net. So, coming out aggressive, that's what we wanted to see. And they're doing just that. Casey almost with another goal already in another 15 seconds down. And so now they are pushing back on offense again. Casey bringing the ball up into the corner off the wall. It gets broken up by the defense, but Jinji was ready and waiting, but he couldn't handle the pressure of the defense and now they are just trying to get possession of the ball back and in front of the other team's goal good rotations here from ciu that's what we like to see holding that midfield line not letting umw get clear and when it is clear like it is now casey's there to put it in umw's corner now we are seeing Genji apply pressure in that corner and then Gamehawk following up. Casey's waiting. Good holster on defense to make sure Ooh. he was back in time to stop that goal from happening. Yeah, very much so. If Casey isn't there, oh, what a pass. If Casey isn't there, it's definitely a free shot on goal. So good on him. Good discipline out of Casey. And now he's playing some defense onto offense. A little oh, air dribble. One more touch. Oh. oh, and he gets the bump in front of goal for the goal. Casey does it all from end to end oh man he's he was at his peak closest to the ceiling and i looked at his boost and he only had 12 left and i said oh surely he can't do anything anything with this and he proved me wrong bro oh my gosh what a goal now he gets the demo off the start really shaking things up showing some aggression on CIU side that they are wanting more. They are not going to settle or play defense just to protect the lead. Right now, Casey on the fake goes up again. Now he's transitioning to defense as Hikari for UMW hits it onto his own side of the field. So that sets up CIU. Gamehawk getting a touch, putting it in the corner. Casey's late on the rotation, but he's ready now. He is up. Gets a touch. Genji coming in. Ooh, couldn't win the 50, but Gamehawk is ready. Pushing in. Genji, fake. And now they have to get back on D as the fake could have possibly helped if it was a touch, but you know what? Right now, it is still 2-0 with just a little over two minutes left as Casey pushes forward with his teammates onto UMW side of the field. And a shot on goal by UMW does go in. 
uh, as they stole the ball from Casey at midfield. Yeah, we could kind of see that unfolding before our eyes. And when you're late on rotation, one person, all it takes is one person to be late on rotation, and then everyone else is late. So it's easy fix, easy to, to fix it as well. So just make sure the comms are on point. Two to one with two minutes left as CIU pushes forward on offense. Genji, ball up in the air, gets another touch. Oh, couldn't make it go in. He had a chance, but the defense was there. And now Casey has a chance himself. 16 boost currently, pushing forward, get across. A little too strong. Genji was there, but I don't think he was ready for that strong of a pass. Yeah, he definitely wasn't, but that's okay because the pass went towards goal instead of um, sideways. So as long as we're going forward, then that's the name of the game, honestly. Yeah, we had a shot by Casey that was deflected and then Gamehawk at midfield redirecting the ball. And now they are playing some defensive rotations, trying to get involved early and putting the ball back onto UMW side of the field. UMW is not deterred though, and they are also trying to push and keep possession. Yeah, this is the part of UMW that we were talking about pregame. Um, I don't know if, if we heard, we did have another technical issue, but this team can score at will if you let them. And um, we're kind of seeing that now with against CIU. They, yeah, exactly, right there. They they know how to set the ball up and in, in a situation to put it in the back of the net. And Casey right there is a primary defender. It gets demoed. Someone's got to be there. Someone has to be back post to rotate forward. Are getting another goal? Or, sorry, I'm not sure who got the goal last time, but Hikari getting the goal after we see UMW setting the tone with a demo in front of goal. So they are not going to go quietly. They want to be physical as well. And just a lucky near miss on CIU's part that they did not get scored on again. Yeah, so this is kind of the opposite of what we saw last week in game one. You know, CIU gave up a very early goal and in their in their first game. And then um, they fought back and ended up winning that first game 2-1. to one. This time, they've scored two early goals, and then they've let two goals go in. Kind of, you know, weird mistakes, fixable mistakes, but still, you know, you don't want to see easy goals being scored. So if they can fix these problems, then I have no doubt that they can come out with a dub makes it as the score was still tied so now they are in overtime first goal wins and Casey returning the favor demoing UMW's team and they are trying to get the ball back onto UMW side of the field as Genji dribbles the ball forward off the back wall but UMW breaks that up and Gamehawk is trying to keep that ball in front of UMW's goal Gamehawk with a great rotation there. Yeah, he was ready for that shot on goal from distance, able to stop it. And now Casey's trying to work the ball forward while going against two defenders. Oh. Does get it on UMW side of the field with Gingy following up. Gingy getting another touch in the corner, crosses. Oh. Gamehawk, not enough sauce on that shot, but Casey is still pushing forward with Gingy on the left side of the field. Gingy waiting patiently getting the ball to Gamehawk who comes in on the rotation Ooh. and it's a little bit of a miscommunication potentially or you know just unexpected ball handling it got a little crowded in that section yeah I think everyone was just trying to get the ball clear from the situation oh Genji has a shot on goal shot from distance by Genji sets it up no one was there to finish I think Irk for UMW was just there at the right time jumped Ooh. a little early but Gamehawk coming back through gets the rebound from the defensive hit and finishes on goal squeaks it by Irk who was there but could not stop the goal CIU takes the first game they take the first game that is right in an overtime goal where Gamehawk had to he didn't have to he cut his rotation early so he could get to that ball first Man, and that's what one thing about this game, if you're a first-time watcher or even a long-time watcher, long-time fan, split decisions will 
make or break a game. So Gamehawk right there made a split decision. He knew he uh, would get to the ball first, made sure he got to the ball first, and, man, he made the most of it. Put it in the back of the net. Great job from Gamehawk there. And one thing I love seeing glitch, each of the three members got a goal, and each of them had three shots. Uh, they had two saves each for two of them. Like, it's an evenly played game from our guys right now. Yeah, definitely a team effort. That's what you like to see. And, you know, it, it starts from it starts from every single one of them. Every single one of them doing the work outside of, outside of games, outside of practice. They're playing individual, and when they come together, they're better together. Open goal right now, Gamehawk. Couldn't get it past the Hikari as Hikari was coming back in from the corner. And now they are pushing to try to get the ball out of their side. But UMW feeling aggressive, putting more guys forward. Um, but that might be their undoing as CIU is trying to get that ball behind them. Right now we have an aerial battle going on. Each team getting up in the air to try to get that ball pushing forward on their offensive side. Hikari getting involved a lot. Seeing Hikari high flying Ooh. shot by Genji. Oh no. Casey touched it. And Game it had stopped it from going in. Gamehawk comes back through. <laughs> <laughs> Full send. All three guys in the goal. Gamehawk was ready. Finished it off. So Genji's initial shot looked like it was going to hit the post. Casey was there to make sure it went in. Bat, an unfortunate touch from Casey. Gamehawk's doing his job. Genji's doing his job. Casey's doing his job. But Gamehawk is there just to make sure, just in case something like that happens. Did a great job, and you love to see it. Phrase, you love to see it. Right now we have Casey passing to Genji. Shot on goal. Squeaks oh, it in. Bottom cheddar. Ooh. Bottom pie in the bottom goal great shot by genji great pass by casey i mean i can't say it any better than that that bottom cheddar bottom cottage cheese whatever you want to call it that was a great shot man he he knew what he was doing from the get-go his teammates set him up for success and he put it in the back of the net with some force Casey having a battle in the corner as all three CIU players are trying to get back and play some defense. But Gamehawk's pushing forward now. Ooh, the ball at midfield, off the ceiling. Genji finishes it. 3-0, three minutes left. Yeah, and so this is one of the things we were talking about in the pregame is how these guys are just kind of dialed in a lot different than they were last season. They're setting each other up. They're passing game like we heard from Gamehawk last, last week in his – uh, post game interview their passing is on a different level and Genji's so agile he's agile enough to get through a line of defenders set himself up for a shot and after a great pass from the ceiling it's it's I mean it's the easiest goal he'll ever score a near miss by Genji leads to Gamehawk getting a shot and Casey getting a shot but nothing goes in just yet but they are still pushing forward with two and a half minutes left and this is a situation where winning game one feels so much better. I mean, you're up three, three nothing with almost two and a half minutes left to play. So a lot of the pressure just goes away now, knowing that you have game one under your belt. Game two is really close to being under your belt. So now you can just play free. Now you can play aggressive, play your brand of Rocket League and, you know, see the game out, maybe score a few more. But we want to see some good rotations. Even though they're up 3-0, you got to see some good rotations back post. Gamehawk with a bad clearance. And then Casey's got to come up big. It was a little late and a little late from Genji too. So, Casey, clean it up. Casey got a demo on the UMW side of the field, and that caused him to be late on rotation yeah. on that. And when you don't have a full clearance like that, you set yourself up times for uh, – bad things to happen yeah and i mean hey if we're gonna break it down you know he casey demos that's sparking a counterattack. so he's relying on someone to get it clear 
It wasn't the best clearance from Gamehawk. So. Yeah, yeah these things happen, but yep. they are rallying back as Genji helps on a great defensive <laughs> stop on UMW's goal. But these guys, they are not shaken up easily. We might have seen maybe in the first year uh, yeah. that some situations like this might get them a little frazzled, but you can tell they are still cool and confident and still pressing forward. And right now, Casey working the ball in the corner as Gamehawk and Genji are back on defense trying to get a stop. Now it goes to Casey pushing forward, trying to get past Akari, and he could not. And now it's up to Gamehawk in front of goal, Ooh, taking on great Urk. Save. Great save. Back to your point, Shorter. It's got to be a, a pretty redeeming feeling knowing that, you know, you have the leadership at the helm. And when you're in a situation where, you know, it's a 3-1, it's a you've given up a, a poor goal that you can bounce back and get another goal with 30, 40 seconds left. Casey doing what he does best. Yeah, Casey coming in with great timing, great accuracy to make that defensive stop a shot on goal as well. Now we have 30 seconds left on the clock, four to one. CIU just needs to maintain and make sure this does not allow UMW to feel any sort of momentum as time starts to expire on the clock. Yeah, it's just, it's textbook Rocket League from here on out. If you go for a goal, make sure it's an open net, but don't over, don't over rotate and make sure you make the saves and you just hit the ball forward. Great save by Genji there. It looks like UMW had a chance at possibly making a goal happen, but Genji got up and stopped that game two goes to CIU. Yep. I mean, hey, that, that was textbook Rocket League. A little mistake, took their foot off the gas, um, kind of, you know, maybe got out of the driver's seat a little bit, but they they made sure that they um, focused in, got the job done. It's 2-0, one game, we are on match point. We are, and once again, if you look at the board, pretty even across the board with goals, assists, shots, and saves. Um, pretty similar stats going on. So you love to see the group effort, everybody getting involved mm -hmm. and getting a chance. Yeah, and all their touches are within average of each other too. So that's that's a huge part, a very underrated aspect of Rocket League that people sometimes miss. Uh, love that we have this new scoreboard to give you guys those stats. Um, but the touches, that's so important. Everyone is sharing the love. Everyone's doing their part, getting where they need to be on time. Potentially the final Ooh. game as game three starts and Electro gets the goal in three seconds. Yeah, uh, that, that's just, just losing a, a kickoff. Unfortunate balance off the kickoff, yeah. Um, I think, you know, we know Coach Chris. He might grill the guys on that one or, you know, Gingy might even grill the guys on that one. But um, saying how can we lose, lose, lose a kickoff is one of the things we've been focusing on all offseason. But time to bounce back. Get a goal of your own. Right now, they are trying on defense to clear the ball as UMW was able to have a counterattack off of CIU's big clearance. And so now Genji trying to push the ball past two defenders, two offensive players. They're both the same once it comes to midfield, I suppose. <laughs> and now he's pushing forward on offense in the corner. No boost. Tries to get it to Casey, who couldn't get the ball forward. Gamehawk with a midfield cut, and he's trying to get back. He does get another touch on defense, leading to him pushing it to offense now, and his teammates coming in behind him. Yeah, Casey ball. at midfield, pushing a Gingy, redirects into the corner, and then it gets broken up by the defense. Ball needs to stay dangerous here. Keep hitting it in the center. Keep rotating forward. Oh, uh, now I got to recycle. So we let them, we let them clear. It was a good job by UMW, good defense. But now you got to work to set it back up. We need some strong clearances here, as the ball was starting to get a little stodgy Ooh. in the corner. We Genji, got open net. Two Casey. Oh man, what a save! 
Good defense by UMW. Gamehawk controlling the ball in the corner, the side post, another touch onto the goal. And now it's up to his teammates, Casey pushing forward onto offense. Casey getting another touch or trying at least at midfield and Gamehawk playing good defense, keeping Electro from pushing forward on a fast break. Now you have Genji pushing forward himself, waiting for the ball in the corner, trying to get a pass off oh, to Gamehawk. Man. Couldn't get the shot to go in, but Casey's there. It's shot here. on goal. Genji shot on goal and finishes it with three defenders in the area. Threading the needle. Oh my gosh. We thought Casey's shot was going to go in. A great save from UMW. But Genji said, I don't care about your saves. I'm putting it in the back of the net. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, just under three minutes. It's a game now. Everything's heating up. You can see the teams are adjusting to each other, trying to make adjustments mm -hmm. and trying to get another goal on the board before time runs out. One adjustment I would make, you know, we've seen CIU, they're really good at beating the first two guys, but they're having a little bit of trouble beating that third guy. And um, it took a, a, a poor clearance for Gingy to score a goal just a minute ago. So you gotta, gotta be doing a whole lot more creative, creative thinking and creative solution making to beat that third guy. So what adjustments are they gonna be making to do just that? Demos would be my adjustment. Let me demo early on in the first game and that seemed to help them out at the start so maybe they'll get back to that right now i'm seeing a lot of balls in the air and a lot of battles being fought in the air so we'll see if they can get any demos because they're not staying on the ground very much right now <laughs> yeah and you know that could have been that could be an adjustment that umw is making because like you said a lot of success from from ciu came from getting those early demos sparking counterattacks. UMW was like, hey, maybe we should uh, stay in the air as much as we possibly can. So now we have Casey pushing on the left side, trying to make something happen. But UMW is rotating very quickly right now. Yeah. Uh, maybe even too much as they had three guys on the left side of the field. And Casey's trying to get past them, get shots on the goal with Gingy in the corner, pushing the Great ball pass. to Gamehawk. Oh, they kind of got mixed up with the ball. <laughs> Uh, in front of goal, but it was a good attempt, good teamwork. Oh, game hawk game with, with a great very, save, a game saving save at that. Getting Comes a little back dicey for Skyu. another save. They are letting the ball stay in front of their goal a little too much, but they say no more as Gigi What's pushes for him in front oh. of the goal. Gets deflected by the defense, and now game hawk. Here it is. Here it is. His midfield cut pushing Demo forward comes into in. the left corner. He gets a bump in front of oh. goal. Hikari for UMW with the clearance. Yeah. And now Electro and Irk pushing forward with Jinji trying to break it up at midfield. Going to Gamehawk. Shot on goal. Electro's there. But CIU still has a chance. They wait. Play some defense. That was a good rotation by Casey. If he had been beaten, things might have gotten a little ugly. So good job by him on waiting on that. 15 is, seconds left. Oh, uh, I was and just Electro about to say. <laughs> gets a goal. I was just about to say, this is where you start playing priority games, where you got to start making sure you you have an account of where every single person is at on the field. And if one person goes missing, that's the person that's going to score on you. And that's exactly what happened. With 12 seconds left, see how you can still make a fast break on a goal and still potentially go into overtime. Five seconds left. Game the ball trying the to air. push forward. Yeah. They have a chance as long as they keep the ball oh. from touching the ground. Casey deflects off his car onto the ground. So, UMW does get a game, making it 2-1 overall. So, the series is not over yet. We are going into a game four after this. Yeah, just like the Super Bowl went into overtime, this is technically considered overtime. So... Free Rocket League tonight. <laughs> um, you, I mean, you can't win them all. We know that. That's why we play the game. We play the game because, it's, one, it's fun. And, two, we want to push ourselves to do the best we possibly can. 
see how you fell asleep for one small second and you know they did well to bounce back but hey sometimes that's not good enough and you have to just re you know rethink your strategy going into it props to umw they made the necessary adjustments and now ciu it's their turn to adjust and move forward so hey i'm excited for it we're in a game four of a game five so you know hey anything can happen at this point so make sure you win the kickoff though if you're ciu they did not get the initial touch, but Casey was in position, pushing the ball forward in front of goal. Off the top bar, does not go in, but Gamehawk is keeping that ball in their corner as they push it past Gingy oh. and past Casey. They have a shot on goal. Oh, Gamehawk man. gets back. And now it's up to Casey and Gingy to get that ball. Gamehawk behind Gingy. They're ready to play a little bit of defense uh, as they communicate on who gets ball, who's going forward. Casey's pushing into the corner. And it's set up for anybody Oof. to get there. UMW does get the clearance as CIU is pushing back for their defensive rotations. Yeah, very good rotations there. One person went to ball, one person went to front post, and one person went to back post. And it's set up for a great offensive try, too. Gingy almost scoring there. Now we have... Hikari and Irk and Electro lined up on the right side oh, of the field the trying to get some offense, but they could not. And now it's up to Genji to try to get it past Hikari. But Hikari, with a midfield stop, does give the ball to Casey now. And Casey has a chance in the corner to make something happen. He gets a hit across the field as Genji's on the wall. Oh, shot in. Oh. Shot to Casey. Shot by Casey. 1-0 CIU. I peeked in. <laughs> I got to peek in on one of Casey's streams. He's a late night streamer for those who <laughs> want to check in on, on Casey on Twitch. But um, I saw him playing with Gingy. They were working on their passing game. And right there, we got to see it come to life. And man, oh man, is, is it a beautiful thing to see. Poetry oh emotion gosh, as Gingy bro. gets a goal himself, pushing it up the field off the left backboard, gets a second touch. So beautiful shot. If you ever watch college basketball NBA, there's a time where you can make a decision in a breakaway. Are you gonna dunk it or are you just gonna go in for a layup? And right there, Gingy said, I'm gonna dunk it. <laughs> he showboated and he did that thing upside down and made it look oh so pretty. Got a hats off to the talent this guy has. You can tell he has been working hard to just get his game on another level. And now it is 2-0 with three minutes left as Gamehawk is at midfield with Gingy behind him, trying to play some defense as Electro comes in hot, pushing forward, but all three UMW players are up. So if CIU can just sneak it past them, they can create a nice fast break. But first, they have to clear the ball. Gingy with a save in front of goal as they are struggling to get this ball oh, out man. from in front Casey of their goal. Going up big. Right now, you have UMW playing hard defense at midfield. They do not want to allow anything to get past them. But right now, CIU Casey tries to get the ball in front of them. Genji trying to get something to happen, but he's broken up in the midfield, in the air. Gamehawk pushing Ooh. forward. He gets a goal. You get a goal. You get a goal. <laughs> you get a goal. All three members of CIU have a goal now. Three to zero. Two minutes left. Yeah, dude. That's the Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey goal for sure. <laughs> Putting it in the back of the net. Making sure everyone gets some love. But, you know, I think that's, you know, and soccer, a 3-0 is done and dusted. That's when you kind of know game over. Oh, but UMW got something this to say. Is, this is Rocket League. A little bit different. Two minutes still left on the clock. Anything can happen. A little bit of a miscommunication possibly on CIU side as yeah. Irk gets a free shot at goal pretty much. Yeah, it comes from a kickoff. Kickoffs are probably the most important strategy when it comes to Rocket League, that's the only time where you can like draw up an actual play, depending on your setup. So, 
If you lose the kickoff, you're setting yourself up for destruction very early on. Now we see CIU trying to get the ball onto UMW side of the field and in front of goal, but it's slow. It, nothing's happening too quickly. UMW is doing a good job of not allowing any strong shots on goal right now as they try to push on the offense themselves. Yeah, that's, that's kind of dangerous if you're CIU. You want to be getting some strong shots, whether it's, you know, to get them out of position or to waste time or even go and score another goal for um, cushion purposes. So got to gotta cushion your lead as much as you can and get out of dangerous situations like this. Still is dangerous, but Gamehawk comes in and breaks it up, pushing the ball forward for Genji to get oh. a little chip shot. It gets broken up by the defense, but Casey's there, redirects it. Oh, Genji man. finishes it. Yeah, let's, one. let's go ahead and give the assist to Casey. Yeah, okay. I was going to, since they tried to clear it, I didn't think they were going to give the assist to Casey. But Casey putting the ball in a situation that only his teammate could get to. And even though it was the first touch was from the defender, Genji knew exactly what he was doing uh, from the moment it left Casey's car. Electro for UMW tries to make something happen on offense, but CIU's defense was there and ready. Now it's up to Gamehawk for the clear in the corner as Casey is ready to push onto offense. Genji also ready, hits it, top goal, gets a second touch into the corner for Gamehawk, crosses it, and now it's Casey and Genji back on defense. Casey getting demoed, but a great clearance. Almost ends up with a UMW oh. own goal. And Gamehawk gets the goal instead. Yeah, so now you're, you're making the team pay for mistakes that they're making, even though it's 5-1. If you make a mistake in this league, the other team's going to make you pay for it. And that's exactly what just happened. Gamehawk read the play from beginning to end, made sure it ended up in a goal for, for Gamehawk and for CIU. Flip reset by Casey. He wants a stylish point to finish this game, put a exclamation point at the end. But one second left, the oh. ball is still in the air, and CIU wants one more. Why not? Casey it, gets man. a shot. Oh. oh, bar down from the top bar. But that is the third game for CIU. That'll take the series. So for this series against UMW, CIU is your winner. I just want to kind of point out that an uncultured team would have already put their controllers down in that situation. You're up by four goals, put the controllers down. The other team gets a goal that doesn't mean anything, but Genji came out of nowhere and made a tremendous save. So that shows that this team is out for it, that Genji wants to win with at all costs. So, Awesome team win, just like Snooky13 is saying in chat. Awesome team win from top to bottom, from Coach Chris to Genji to um, Gamehawk and Casey. I mean, they're they're crushing it in all facets of the game. Absolutely. And I think we have Genji coming in for an interview, which love to see that um, as we are getting ready for that. Genji, how you doing, man? I'm good, guys. How about yourself? Doing yeah. all right, brother. Doing all right. Doing what a we performance. Just some, we'll just watch some great Rocket League. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll go ahead and start, Genji. So we talked to uh, Gamehawk at the end of last last week, and he said that one thing he was going to take in uh, from last game into this game was y'all's passing. We saw it on, on display tonight. Talk to us a little bit about what went into this game, was passing a part of it, and what led to tonight's win. Yeah, no, we, um, one of the things that we kind of did the most of was, especially during our, like, call-outs and stuff, uh, like, constantly trying to get the ball mid, um, and mm -hmm. we kind of talked about it after the third game, kind of, like, during the third game, we only had one assist, and, I mean, that kind of translated to the loss right there, so, in the last game, we kind of picked it up a little bit, I think we had, like, four assists, five assists, something like that, so, I mean, it kind of just shows you that, you know, We've been working on our passing, and whenever we pass the ball, we win. Absolutely. That's great. 
So we saw in that last game, and uh, Glitch touched on it at the end, that when time runs out, you guys are in the lead. Like, you know, you have a chance to just be at ease, let it go, not worry about it. But we'd love to see you guys constantly press forward, still trying to make a goal happen, make things happen. Uh, tell us about that culture of, like, not letting up. Is that different from previous years, and how have you tried to instill that? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I feel like it's definitely different uh, from previous years. Uh, kind of, It's kind of funny you say that. Um, during the for, actually during the last game when we were, when we were up like two to zero, I was like, guys, let's keep going. Like, don't let off the gas. Like, we gotta, I mean, step on their throats and keep going. Like, we're winning, but we need to win by a lot. Kind of make a mm. statement game. Um, yeah. And I mean, that's I mean, it's something that we're trying to instill this year. Trying to you know make our team play harder for the full five minutes, not for you know three minutes. Mm. Yeah, for I'd sure. love to hear that. I think it definitely shows up on the field. So you guys got land coming up. Are you excited? One and two. What are you hoping to get out of that? Oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. I'm excited. I didn't go to last year. I was in the. I had baseball, so I mm -hmm. unfortunately had to. I mean, I guess fortunately or whatever, had to go play baseball instead of going to the land last year. So this year, I'm excited. Uh, I think that we definitely had the potential to make it a long way, maybe even win it. Um, I think that we have the talent to do it. So I'm so excited for it. Awesome, man. Well, hey, congrats on tonight. Congrats on the win. We will, you know us, we're going to be looking in uh, at that land tournament watching and um, wish you all the best. Again, congratulations on the win. Proud of you. And charge on, baby. Hey, yes, sir. Appreciate you Thank guys. you. Yep. All right, folks. Well, that is it for us tonight. As you saw, CIU took on UMW and won three out of four games that they played. So a great showing from all members of the team, a real good team win, as we said before. And we just want to thank you for tuning in, for supporting your team and continuing to support your team uh, as they do their best that they can to be solid men of good character, but also really great mm. Rocket League players. Absolutely. And there's a balance there. These guys know the balance. They they know when you know to kind of cross that line, be a good rocket player, and and show out a little bit. And we love to see it for entertainment pur purposes. So, hey, thank you guys for joining in. We'll see you next time. Be sure to tune in and see these guys ball out in LAN. Um, shorter, I, I'm sure you got the link for everybody. If you want to go ahead and share that, yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you go to twitch.tv forward slash VWU underscore esports, um, February 16th through the 18th, you can tune in and support your team and watch that as they take on everybody at LAN, including mm -hmm. their own team. And Absolutely. We, we're looking forward to that a lot. So you should too. And you should check it out. Yes, sir. As always, remember, go Rams and charge on, baby. Let's go. Charge on, let's go.